హాయ్ ఐఎమ్ హెచ్ ప్రియాంక ఆఫ్ సెకండ్ ఎంఎస్ఎస్ ఫ్రమ్ టీఎస్ డబ్ల్యూ ఆర్డిసి వనపర్తి టుడే మై టాపిక్ ఈస్ ద ఎన్విరాన్మెంటల్ ఇంపాక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఈ వేస్ట్ బిఫోర్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు టాపిక్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ టాపిక్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఇంట్రడక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ది ఈ వేస్ట్ ఇంపాక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఈ వేస్ట్ ఆన్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఈ వేస్ట్ హౌ టు అవాయిడ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఈ వేస్ట్ ఈజ్ ఈ వేస్ట్ కెన్ బి రీసైకిల్ వేస్ట్ ఫర్ ప్రాపర్ రీసైకిల్ ద ఈ వేస్ట్ రేట్ రిస్క్ టు వర్కర్స్ అండ్ ద ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్ అండ్ కన్క్లూజన్ బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ టు మై ప్రెసెంటేషన్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు ఆస్క్ అబౌట్ ఈ వేస్ట్ డూ యూ నో వాట్ ఈస్ ఈ వేస్ట్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద నెగిటివ్ ఇంపాక్ట్స్ బై దిస్ ఈ వేస్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ వేర్ ఇట్ విల్ బికమ్స్ Do you have any idea about this? Okay, let's see. Generally, e-waste is an electronic waste. E-waste or electronic waste means electrical equipment. Electrical and electronic equipment is essential part of in this busy world. It substitutes hard human work and it makes faster. Most of people have computers at their homes and at their working places. In recent years, changing of electronics becomes faster due to obsolescence and advance. Now, I am going to tell about e-waste in brief. D- see here, discarded electrical or electronic devices. Used electronics, this stands for reuse, resale, recycle is also e-waste. Informal processing of e-waste cause health and pollution. Now, I am going to tell about e-waste. Electronic waste or e-waste describes discarded electrical or electronic devices. These electronic devices include mobile phones, computers, monitors and solders and small electrical equipment is considered as e-waste which consists of hazardous materials and which pollute the environment. It causes lot of pollution. The electronics which are used for reuse, recycle, salvage, recycling through materials Recycling through material recovery and disposal are also considered e-waste. But we should remember one thing is that improper disposal e-waste leads to negative impacts on the environment. Nowadays, technology has been rapidly increased in our society. So, many new items have been created. The materials which are reused for the inventing technology, the electricity, the electronics which are used for the inventing technology it leads to very large amount of e waste in every minute e waste contains toxic materials such as lead zinc nickel flame retardants beryllium and cad- cadmium these toxic materials are harmful to human beings how these affect the human beings let us see lead is still widely used for car batteries and in some solders and zinc is zinc is still widely used for batteries and beryllium beryllium is measured used in batteries and cadmium is used in batteries so these toxic materials are harmful to human beings for for example e waste is considered as fastest growing waste stream today if you see one example 7 million tons of e waste is generated in 2016 which is equivalent to 4500 eiffel towers in 2018 it was estimated that 50 million tons of e waste was reported thus the name was this tsunami of e waste given by the united nations see here these are different types of e waste which we can be see in our day to day life this includes mouse keyboards and other electronic devices personal electronic devices which are monitors and laptops like cell phones audio or video equipment televisions and scanners and copies these these electronic devices plays a key role in the society without these electronic devices there is no world because even an uneducated or unemployed people can also able to use these devices without this electronics there is no world i thought that you do you i thought that <laughs> next these electronic devices are, have been divided into two categories they are large household appliances and small household appliances large household appliances includes cooling and freezing appliances 
which are coolers, refrigerators, ACs and conditioners. Coming to small household appliances, it includes IT equipment like monitors, consumer electronics like TVs, lamps and toys, tools, medical devices, monitoring and control instruments and automatic dispensers. These includes means large household appliances and small household appliances includes which are used for resale, recycling or disposal as well as reusables which are working and repairable electronics and secondary raw materials which are plastic, copper and steel. As we know that plastic is very hum harmful to human beings. It causes a lot of pollution and and I will make you to know the impacts of e-waste on the environment. When e-waste is warmed up that releases toxic chemicals into the air and as we know that these toxic chemicals are pollute the environment ultimately damage to the atmosphere. So it, then it leads to one of the biggest environmental impacts from e-waste. When e-waste is disposed into the water the toxic chemicals and with the toxic toxic chemicals with water will move throughout the water and affect the sea diversity there are number of problems caused by e waste and let us discuss let us discuss about three mainly caused by e waste and now let us discuss about problems caused by e waste e waste negatively impacts the soil e waste negatively impacts the water e waste negatively impacts the air now we can discuss about each one in briefly. Now, e-waste negatively impacts the soil. When e-waste is disposed into the soil uh, and it causes a pollution. For example, if a plastic is dumped into the soil that will not be degrade, degraded and it remains hundreds of years in the soil and it causes to, it damage to the land. When this toxic en enters into the soil like lead, zinc, cadmium, it leads to it harmful to human beings and when these toxic centers into the soil the plants and trees which grows from the soil will also be negatively influenced by the e-waste and these toxins uh, enters into the enters into the plants and trees as we know that plants will prepare food as uh, when these when these plants are consumed by humans, they lead to toxin centers into the human's body. So, it leads to birth defects as well as a number of other health complications. And let us discuss about e-waste natively impacts the water. When e-waste is disposed into the water from industries or businesses, they enters into the to they they leads to toxin centers into the water and also groundwater. When this groundwater is polluted. They settle at the and they settle at the ponds, lakes, and streams. When when these water used, when animals use this water, they harm to health. It not only harmful to animals and also humans. E waste can also him, impact the relay and this water. And let us discuss about e waste negatively impacts the air. When e waste is disposed of at the landfills, it is usually burned by insulators and soil. This process can release hydrocarbons in the atmosphere which pollute the air that many animals humans rely on. Furthermore, these hydrocarbons can contribute to the greenhouse gas effect which many scientists think is a leading contributor to the global warming. See here, the picture shows the energy the energy of the sun releases energy to the plants and and the earth and the excess energy the excess energy is reflect back to the sun by by the pollution from industries and vehicles it will the these gases it will not it will not be reflect to the did not reflect to the sun this leads to global warming if this process will continuously goes on for five to six five for five to six years, our it will lead to our diversity will completely obsolesced. As we know that every question has a answer and every problem has a solution to overcome this. There are some process. Now let us discuss about how to avoid problems caused by e waste. First, reduce, reuse, repair, recycle. Now let us discuss about each one in briefly. First of all, reduce. The first and foremost way for reducing e waste is to avoid the purchasing of new electronic devices and electrical equipment. 
whenever a whenever a product or a device comes into the market so many people wish to buy a product or a device in order to reduce the purchasing of new electronic devices we are red, then before we have to think twice before buying and and reuse another way to reduce e waste is to redeploy existing items to new owners donate to a school community center non profit salvation army goodwill or charitable organization and next repair well electronic devices and electrical equipment breaks down they can often be repaired people may choose to toss out the old unit and buy a new replacement because it seems cheaper and less hassle when one considers that retail price do not include the cost of environmental damage and health issues caused by dumping e waste in landfills or recycling it unsafely a new item is not actually a cheaper for example if you if you take one if da if mobile will display of the mobile will damage and people left the mobile phone and purchase new one instead of purchasing of new mobile up repairing to the repairing to the mobile phone and then we use it next here we can here the image represents electronic devices are repairing is e waste can be recycled yes e waste can be recycling e waste are electronic waste electronic recycling is the process of recovering materials from old devices to use in new products i had mentioned that in at the beginning e waste contains toxic materials e waste contain toxic materials it not only contains toxic materials and also contains some valuable materials toxic substances and can be safe, safely recycled to recover metals and other materials for reuse and dispose of toxins appropriately and waste for proper recycling as as we know that recycling here are some ways for proper recycling recycling should be done in eco friendly way here are some are some eco friendly waste disposal techniques that you can use to dispose of electronic waste locally give your electronic waste to a certified certified e waste recycler sell off your outdated technology donating your outdated technology and give back to your electronic goods back to back to the companies and drop off points and as a result advantages in, in recycling recycling because valuable materials from old devices that can be used to make new products as a result we save energy reduce pollution reduce greenhouse gas emissions and save natural resources by extracting fewer and second and raw materials from the earth it can minimize pollution it can lower land spill space it can create employment and it can prevent long term damage and certified electronic recyclers what is mean by recyclers the person one who organized and the person one who organized and they possess two electronic set recycling certification standards exist they are east towards responsible recycling practices when we should remember one thing is that our e waste should give to recyclers who Po who passed those two certifications this considered as authorized certificate authorized organization or else unauthorized organizations unauthorized organization may affect the environment so our waste our e waste should give to the recyclers can we have e waste recycling as business yes we have the e waste trade trade of discarded electronics and it is so easy for brokers to call the recyclers and export it developing countries e waste trade causes environmental and health problems the e waste trade electronic waste is the fastest growing waste stream today it has been purchased and sold by many people in the different parts of the world and there is a lack of lack of information regarding how much e waste is generated from where and where to it is moving so nowadays electronic waste is the fastest growing waste stream today it have been purchased and sold by many people in different parts of the world about 50% and 80% of e waste collected and send it for recycling 
we have to observe here 50 percent and 50 percent and 80 percentage of e-waste collected and sent it for recycling in developed countries e is being exported. Once imagine that how much how much e-waste will be collected for 5 to 6 years. Oh, it is possible. So, some some countries are decided are identified e-waste recycling hotspot have been identified in Asia Pacific countries such as China, India, Pakistan and in some African countries such as Senegal, Ghana and Nigeria. So, e-waste recycling hotspot have been identified. Now, risk to workers and the environment. The workers and local residents in areas of e-recycling in developed countries are exposed to the chemicals through inhalation, dust ingestion, thermal exposure and dietary intake. Workers are exposed to other hazards leading to physical injuries and chronic elements such as asthma, skin diseases and eye irritations and etc. For the most part, workers are not aware of environmental and health risk, do not know better practices or how have no access to investment capital to influence safety measures and electronic waste is the fastest growing waste stream today. It is a global environmental and health emergency beyond occupational exposed involving vulnerable groups and future generations. Different chemicals pose different hazards and without information, safe handling cannot be assured. The main hazards arise from the presence of heavy metals, persistent organic pollutants, flame retardants and other potentially hazardous substances. Here, see here, Triblis means electronic and electrical equipment sales. It going to be used households and businesses and the public sector and evil EOS generator and it is going to be disposal into two types official and unofficial. Official take back system and legal trade outside of the official. It going to be take formal recycling and metal recovery and land landfill. Illegal trade outside of the official TBS waste bin. It is going to be landfill and informal recycling and metal recovery. And now I am going to conclude that the hazardous nature of e-waste is one of the rapidly growing environmental problems of the world. The ever increasing amount of e-waste associated with the lack of awareness and appropriate skill is deepening the problem. A large number of workers are involved in cure dismantling of these electronic items for their livelihood and their health is at risk. Therefore, there is an urgent need to plan to a preventive stationary uh, in relation to health hazards of e-waste handling amount these workers in India. Required information should be provided to these workers re regarding safe handling of e-waste and personal protection. Thank you.